Hello, Labrat here. My name is Sebastian Martin and I haven't been as active in the last few weeks because I ran out of crafting material. Then I got sick, but well, I'm feeling better. I've got lots of foam, glue and latex coming in. So I'm doing a series about building foam weapons for LARP. So look forward for that. But today I have a short episode for you discussing Helmets. Why would you wear a helmet in LARP? Well, there are several reasons. The first and most important reason is it protects your head. Now, in LARP battle you only use foam weapons and in some countries, uh, for example in Germany, uh, hit to the head does not count as a hit in game terms but it still hurts our team, our time and uh, in the heat of battle when there are people running around everywhere when there are arrows flying uh, you will get hit on the head and then no matter if it's not a hit in game terms, you may get hurt. Uh, you may get an eye injury, a broken nose, a concussion, anything's possible. But a helmet protects for most of that. Now, you could uh, use a light helmet, a uh, padded cap, a leather helmet or a fancy fiberglass helmet. But... Uh, I always use heavy real steel helmets because they offer very good protection and they feel real. Uh, I always use real armor whenever possible because then uh, it immerses me in my character more. If my character is a knight or a Viking running around in heavy chainmail with a steel helmet on his head, and it's really an effort, a strain. You have to exert yourself. You feel much more heroic, as if uh, when you were wearing what well, is basically a bicycle helmet and uh, aluminum chain or fiberglass plate armor. It may look great, but it doesn't feel real for you. Now, another reason to wear a helmet is because it looks professional. If you are playing a professional fighter, mercenary, soldier, a knight, a paladin, whatever, you want to wear a helmet so people take you seriously. I once saw a, a chaos warrior and he had like black and red plate armor from toe to shoulder. He was wearing really big plate shoulders and a gorget and really heavy fancy armor but you could see his bald head. He was never wearing a helmet and I thought to myself oh, if I had to fight this guy I could just bump him on the head and he would go down. Now, it was a German lab, so he didn't have uh, to play the hit on the head. But if it were a real fight, you could just hit him on the head. He's dead. That's it. But if you're wearing just uh, a gambeson and a helmet together with that, you immediately look more professional than that guy in plate armor without helmet. Yeah, that's the point I wanted to make. And of course, a uh, helmet, or a hat for that matter, is part of your costume. It's like 30% uh, of what the people see about your character is your hat. And your hat! 
So if you are a fighter, a helmet uh, makes a lot of your costume. It's very fancy. And, uh, you're wearing, uh, playing Viking. You could wear an early medieval Dark Ages helmet like this. Or if you're a mercenary or a soldier, maybe a kettle helmet with a fancy bent on the helmet showing your units or your land's colors. Or if you're a knight, you can go really fancy and wear a great helmet. Now, nothing says I am a fucking tank as a great helmet. But I've worn this in battle and I uh, don't really fancy it that much actually wearing it because while you are very well protected from all angles it's hard to see and it's hard to breathe in here. It's really more of a cavalry helmet than an infantry helmet and as long as you don't have horses on lap you're infantry. So you want an infantry helmet like this. This is really great. While it doesn't cover your face, any blows coming from above will most likely hit the rim and won't uh, hit your face or even your shoulders at all. And well, this helmet, this is uh, my go to helmet for my characters these days because it's great. It protects everything from above, no problem. And even my face is reasonably well protected by this nasal. And this is a really long and sturdy nasal. I once uh, saw a guy who cut this off on the height of its nose, but it makes no sense to me. While maybe uh, it will look better and will be easier to drink when you're wearing the helmet. But all this part that goes past my nose still protects my face. So uh, I would always leave it as long as it comes. It's great. So that's it for today. Wear a helmet. Thank you. Goodbye.